Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made this sign. Okay, so, um, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go, hey. Um, so today was Halloween and I was like kind of lazy and selfish and I didn't go out and hand the candy out to the kids. I just, I left a bowl out there. But last year, it got cold. I, okay, so last year I sat out for like three hours and I just handed out candy to the kids. I think they got kind of freaked out. I was like in a blanket or something like this. But I didn't want my dog to go crazy, so I sat outside and it was freezing. So eventually I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go inside and it usually dies around eight o'clock anyway. So I went in and I was like, okay, I'll just leave the candy out in case there's any stragglers, like stragglers that come along. And when I was talking to this other person um, who called me and um, we were talking for a while. But anyways, so after, and we were laughing, we were having this conversation, whatever. And so <laughs> after I got off the phone, oh, we were talking about how savage kids get when they get candy. Anyways, so I, I was, we were laughing about that and I go outside and the whole candy bowl, okay? And I left a whole bowl of candy thinking that stragglers were coming. There must have been mobs because the thing was just like, the bowl was knocked over, candy was everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a massacre. So this year I decided, okay, I'm gonna write a, I'm gonna write a note that says, think of others, take one. And I got this like little bin and I thought, okay, maybe moral conscious, these kids will <laughs> just take one. Okay, so we get mobbed, mobbed at 7.30. I'm upstairs in my room because I was lazy, like I said. And all of a sudden, I just hear this one kid come upstairs and say, take one, take one. What the hell? This house sucks. And he kicks the bucket. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. All these kids came up, yeah, this house sucks. And like this one kid, I just heard him say, take one, and then he kicked the bucket. I was like, oh my gosh. So I went down the stairs. <laughs> I felt bad though. I took the bucket, I brought it inside, and then I decided from now on, I'm gonna just hand the candy out. And so we had like one other trick or treat there after that, and now we have a whole ass, big ass bowl of like candy left over. I feel so bad. I feel like I should have handed out candy. I'm like, oh, take two, take three instead. <laughs> now we're stuck with this huge ass bowl of candy, and like people probably think that we're really rude. But <laughs> of course, my parents and my brother were joking around, but <laughs> like, still, I don't know. I felt bad. But. That's my Halloween story. You guys are gonna see me watch Charlie Brown hopefully soon and I'm gonna just finish up my homework and then that'll be done and tomorrow will be really cool, really chill. And um, till the end when I have to watch that movie that's gonna make me cry and really disturbed. <laughs> and then um, we'll get to that in tomorrow's clip.